Hello, in this JavaScript video, I am going to show you cookies. So what are cookies? Are they those delicious treats? Well, yeah, they are them as well, but that's not the cookies we are talking about. But saying that, I've got some cookies, a pack of them. I'm going to open them. No, I have one. I'm going to have the entire pack. You programmers know what I'm talking about. You kind of have one cookie. It'd be a waste of effort opening, you know, that entire pack. Okay, so cookies allow you to store some data locally on your web browser and they're great if you want something to persist between the different pages of your website maybe to keep track that you're logged in or that you set something so what i'm going to do is create a couple of i'll call it, i'll just create a couple of headers and i'm going to call this get cookie and i'm actually going to do an on click event so make sure you check out the events video if you haven't and i'm going to call this get cookie I actually prefer both letters to be capital. So actually now this will be called set cookie. And I'll do one for get cookie as well. Get cookie. And now we need to create a function for set cookie. And now we need a function for get cookie. And uh, now, if I was to, if I was to, in here, to set a cookie, you do document dot cookie equals quotation marks. And now the format is you have a key, then you have a value. So the key, let's say username, username equals, now the value. So the value would be, I don't know, my name, go on. And then if you have another cookie, you put semicolon, then key equals value, etc. You can also do something called an expiry as well. And I think you can guess what the expiry does. It allows you to set a date and a time when your cookies will actually expire. And to do that, you just do expires equals, and then you just set an expiry date. So it's going to leave you as default, not really interested. In Go spell expires right, but we're not really interested in that. Okay, so if I save that and in here to get a cookie, let's do document dot cookie for example. And what we're going to do is we are going to do console dot log document dot cookie. And now we are going to print this stuff out. We could get individual cookies as well we could split them up it's just essentially an array so once you check out the array video and you're comfortable with that you can adapt it to cookies so if i save this reload oh yeah you might be thinking why am i doing it on safari just because cookies on a local html file that's open like this and not on a website chrome without setting a particular flag and rebooting chrome does not allow you to you know use cookies just locally obviously online that's fine so when you're making a website for yourself or a client don't worry whereas safari lets me use it locally that's the only reason why okay so if i reload and i'll call this set cookie reload let's click the get cookie button so we get this user nemo furohan so this is a cookie that i actually set before and as you can see it's persisted even though I haven't set this one yet. But if I click set cookie now, click get cookie, we've got the username equals for Han and this other one, the username or for Han, some dodgy cookie. And if I reload the page, I'm reloading it. If I click get cookie, they persist. And another amazing thing is if you're on the same website, so for example, my company's website is sonarsystems.co.uk. Maybe you're on there and on the home page is set a cookie. Maybe you set your username. You go to a different page and maybe that's sonarsystem.co.uk forward slash epic page, for example. You can access that cookie that you set. And, you know, cookies are really cool. You might be thinking, okay, outside of an expiry, can we get rid of the cookie? And, yeah, you can. You can simply delete a cookie and deleting cookies are pretty darn easy to be fair so to be able to delete a cookie what you have to do is just set an expiry so you just do you know document.cookie equals then quotation marks expires equals and just set an expiry 
in the past and they expire and that's how you delete a cookie oh, i'm actually going to leave that as an extra test for you so feel free to check that out if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and i look forward to seeing you in the next video